the next uh, is uh, games. Okay, good afternoon everybody. My name is Alex Wallner. I work at the Serious Games Institute in Coventry University and I'm leading the games pilot as part of the eSpace project. So um, there's a feeling that games are a, a great way to engage people, a great way to, to express content in, in the digital realm. And we have kind of been set the design challenge to create three game, de uh, game demonstrators um, we're looking at a casual market, a social market, and an educational market. And we're looking at bringing content from Europeana and some of the other archives that are available to us within these demonstrators. And then hopefully guide players back to that content so they show interest in that content. Um, we want these demonstrators to be adaptable to new content libraries. So we've, we're putting certain uh, spins into the, into the games that, that we're going to show you but they should be adaptable. They should, we should be able to give them to hackers and other people so they can start to think about repurposing the technology that we create during this pilot. I particularly want to avoid text-based games and to use a visual language wherever possible. Um, and we really want to encourage playfulness. Bit of technical stuff there. Stuff goes in, stuff comes out. So um, the casual game demonstrator um, we, we, we're taking inspiration from this 1980s game. Anybody played Quicks? So you have to um, zone off areas of the, of the board um, and you gain territory. And there are little things on the lines that come and try and get you called Quicks. And there's also this strange entity that flies around and if that hits you, you're dead. And so what we're going to do is work on that to start to think about zoning off areas and revealing content from European that will come up behind there. So quite simple idea, but hopefully that's quite an uh, engaging and reasonably addictive way to start to play games and think about how you bring content into those games. Social game demonstrator for this, we've been working around this idea of using video and being able to mash up video and uh, put it, uh, re-export uh, it uh, to your social networks for other people to critique and enjoy. And um, we were working around this idea of movement of the human body and movement through uh, scenes, and then it seemed like a good idea then to think about looking at what the dance people were doing and thinking about how, okay, can we use the, some of this amazing dance content that's available in order to make new works and create new choreography. So we're just thinking about a simple uh, mashup app or game whereby you can start to uh, um, reorganize uh, dance videos, uh, create new uh, soundtracks for them, put them together, and pump them out to your social network, see what people say, uh, obviously rating them, et cetera, et cetera, on top of that. And then, oh, so uh, hopefully Harry won't mind this one, um, but I'm glad that he didn't drown his idea. This was one of the ones that he let, liked to fly, was the, um, the Van Gogh Yourself, which I must confess I wasn't aware of, but we came up with this idea, maybe it's part of the zeitgeist for Europeana, around using um, self-portraits in, from Europeana, because we were thinking about educational games, and educational games typically can be very dry and very text-based, and so we wanted to create something that was playful for art students. This was actually inspired by me going to a pop-up exhibition by GCSE, which is 15, 16 year olds, and going through their sketchbooks and looking at their self-portraits. So we came up with this idea of pulling content down and then mapping yourself onto it within the app, and then starting to think about the sort of painterly qualities that you could express through that and then hopefully that's something the teacher can then take into the art lesson the kids can start playing with portraits their own portraits mixing them together and then st print them out and then start to work in a, in a less digital way afterwards and the next step so we're going to uh, start building and testing some of these things and we're going to uh, bring those demonstrations to the team here initially to test out and continue to develop those before handing them over to the hackers to turn them into something else as well okay Thank you very much, Alex. Thank you.